It's to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome. Mayor Linda Soto. Present. Trustee Staranowski. Here. Georgian Duberstein. Here. Barrett. Here. Highness Abstin. Absent. Daly. Here. And George Duberstein. Present. Okay, we are in quorum. I did get a call from Trustee Hine a short while ago. Uh, while she was up here earlier for a meeting uh, regarding finance, uh, unfortunately she seems to be coming down with stomach flu, so we hope it doesn't spread much further. It's going around, so be beware. Okay, uh, I'm going to ask for approval of tonight's agenda, but we are going to table item one under business for the contract for Ralph Campbell and Associates. Uh, it's uh, held up only because of language between the insurance companies and subject to final approval by our attorney. So that will come back on the June 9th uh, board meeting, so I hope to have a final contract in that packet. Uh, also, our attorney Jim Rock is out of town on vacation and will also be back to review that. So, can I have a motion as uh, uh, amenda, amended with that item table? So, the move is amended. Second? Second. Roll call. Trustees Jaranowski? Aye. George Ann Duberstein? Aye. Barrett? Aye. Daly? Aye. And George Duberstein. Aye. Motion carried. <laughs> and we have to get shirts made and then it's funny. Executive Director from the Round Lake Area Library District. So Jim is going to give us some great information on new things at the library. Mayor, Trustees, thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to speak to you tonight here at your house at Village Hall. Uh, I know you guys have a busy agenda, so I'll keep this short. Um, I just wanted to come around tonight to reintroduce the library to you and to let all of you, officers and administrators here at the Village, know that the library is here to help you out. We have a variety of services that you can use that will help your businesses. Uh, I'm going to hand out a pack, uh, packet right here for you. There. Here to you. That is a pamphlet that we share with a number of our chamber members that outlines some of the services that we can provide for you. I'll let you read through that in your leisure, but what you should take away from this is that we offer a variety of computer classes and individualized computer instruction. We don't really do the seminar style classes anymore that kind of bore everybody. Right now, we are happy to have you as a group of officers or a group of administrators, new employees, make an appointment with us at the library. We don't charge anything. We'll help walk you through Excel or Word or Facebook. So if you guys need to handle with anything, we can help you provide that service. We also have another uh, service with our book scan station. So the title's a little misleading. What it allows you to do, though, is it allows you to scan in a ton of documents and send them to your email account or create them in PDF. So in case you're trying to use some of that stuff here at Village or at an off-site location, uh, things aren't quite working out, come on over and you can use our services for free. We also have notary, fax, and services, things like that. So I wanted to highlight the chamber services to you or the business services that we offer. I'd also like to let you guys know about some of the programs that we have. 
Okay, that's another set of documents for you. Uh, this June 6th, in just a couple of weeks here, we're going to start our summer reading club. And that is our biggest event. We usually get about 2,000 people to attend that. Uh, and it's also the same day that the pool is open. It's going to be a crazy busy day over on Park Road. Uh, summer reading club is a chance for us to promote reading throughout the community while our kids are traveling between the spring and the fall semester, and hopefully when they come back in the fall, we'll have uh, some pretty good grades and get a head start uh, from being uh, out over the summer. It makes it a little easier for the teachers to help them out. Uh, we also in that packet have a superhero training day on, I think, June 16th, so if you know any kids that are trying to become superheroes, we'll do our best to help them out with that. We have a variety it's only of for kids. Oh, well, 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 <laughs> big kids too. Big kids too. We'll take anybody. We also have a number of story times and other programs that we think you guys will find very fun and enjoyable to come uh, and, and to make use of. Uh, we share a lot of patrons with some of your residents that uh, are in the Grace Lake Library District. They are an excellent library. We hope you use them too, but we also hope you use the Round Lake Area Library. What I will leave you with tonight uh, is one of our sets of newsletters that just came out. Uh, that way you can take a look through and you'll get uh, a jump on some of the programs we're having this summer. Before I go, does anybody have any questions for me? Are you in the same uh, library group as the Grace Lake Library District? So for you know, folks or things like that, just can't find Grace Lake, you can come to you? Absolutely. Okay. As long as you have a library card at any library in Illinois, you can use it at any other library throughout the state. So just come on in, we'll put you in the computer system, and you can check out whatever we have. To what extent do you have a Kindle now all over the way? We use a service called My Media Mall, or Overdrive, and that's the group that we buy all of our titles through. Um, I think Grace Lake has the same, the same mechanism, the same company. I don't think they have the same collection that we do. Um, so whichever library district you're in, we ought to be able to serve you. Now, if you're within our library district, what we recommend you do is come over with your Kindle, make an appointment, but then come over with your Kindle and we will make sure that your account is synchronized with our service so that downloading those books is uh, much easier than it uh, oh, is for us Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Thank you. Does that mean that the microphone Grace Lake, that the Grace Lake people need to do that at Grace Lake Library and only the Brown Lake Library? Yes, that is correct. Residents can do that. Yes, that is correct. Kindle. Yeah, if you have a library card that is from the Grace Lake Library, you would need to go talk to them about setting up your Kindle with their service. But if you live in the Round Lake Library District, like I say, come on with a lot of our service. And I would like to say that my family uses both libraries, and we enjoy them both. Great, thank you. Yeah, and there's some nice differences between the two. Each of them has their strengths and different collections and a um, nice variety of programs. So um, you can't go wrong with using both library districts. I think we're very lucky. Thank you. Thanks for working with us on some other projects too. Okay. Really Always it. a pleasure. Thank you. Okay, well, thanks thank, for coming. I want to thank you for all the work that you do with other organizations that I'm part of that I know you work very hard on our community calendar, which is available for everyone if they have any kind of um, activity or event, there's a, a community calendar that they can um, put their their event on after it's been approved by a committee. So um, thank you for that um, and all the other things that you do to support us. You're very kind. Thank you. We're just here to help out and make things better for everybody. So thank you. Thank you, Jim. Have a good night. You're welcome to stay. We are better than cable TV, but we understand if you want to leave. <laughs> Okay, at this time we'll take public comments. Is there anybody that wanted to address the board at this time? We have a clerk? No. no. Okay. We will move on to omnibus. Do I have a motion for approval? So moved. Second. Roll call. Trustee Steranowski. Aye. Georgian Duberstein. Aye. Barrett. Aye. Daly. Aye. And George Duberstein. Aye. Motion carried. Okay, we're going to move down to mayor announcements and other topics.
that the mayor would like to discuss, and I have a lot to say tonight. <laughs> Aren't you lucky? Uh, first, I wanted to mention that the clerk and I recently attended um, Liquor Commissioner 101 class, uh, which was held over at CLC and uh, led by Bill Gentis uh, from the uh, Lake County Health Department. And um, we had some other uh, staff there as well as uh, our Lake County Sheriff's Department. And it was a very worthwhile time spent. Um, it was a Saturday morning, yes, but I think Kathy, the clerk, and I both got a lot out of it as far as understanding better on enforcement um, and also conducting hearings and again to continue the fight against teenage drinking. So uh, just want to mention that that was a very productive morning. And then I want to give a big thank you and acknowledgement. Uh, we're very proud that we completed our computer conversion and that is uh, very much in large due to our staff's commitment our treasurer, Kelly Hensley, our clerk, Kathy Metzler, our deputy clerk, Roseanne Stark, and our uh, utility clerk, Donna Byrne, and trustee Jerry Daly also participated and helped guide us through this. And uh, in the near future, we will do a demonstration at a board meeting to give you an idea of what this software will do exactly for the village. But it was a very exciting time. I thank the, the residents for their patience you know, we did close the village hall so we could have a more productive training. I also feel personally when you're investing that kind of money in that much software and you have people traveling in from out of state to train you, um, it was worthwhile for us to close the doors. Um, our residents did not suffer in any way. We checked emails and uh, of course Public Works was on call to respond. So I think it was all in all a very smooth um, transition and I and the staff are very psyched and I think Jerry too about the changes this software is going to bring to the village and the tools, the tools and the reports we'll be able to generate are going to be a real big plus. And of course yesterday was Memorial Day and we participated in the Round Lake Area Parade. Uh, the weather certainly gave us some challenges, but I would like to thank both Trustee George and Georgian Duberstein and also Trustee Dina Hine for joining me in the parade. And hats off to our Public Works crew for doing a great job decorating our trucks and Tyler for being a wonderful driver and uh, actually his assistant driver helped us with uh, challenges with the weather, uh, Megan Metzler. So um, very moving ceremony held at the uh, Round Lake Park uh, Legion Hall, which uh, Mayor Lucasen and I talked uh, about. We would like to even make better and more meaningful next year by providing adequate seating for everyone. And also, I would like to challenge uh, our board and staff, if they're so willing, that we try to participate in both parades. We have ties to the Grays Lake area as well as Round Lake. So depending where you live and what your involvement is, uh, I have people that ask why we're not present in the Grays Lake Memorial Day Parade and vice versa. So we've always participated in the Round Lake Area Parade and I want to continue to do so and want to continue to support the Legion Hall. But I think it is important that we have uh, presentation or involvement support in the Grays Lake side as well. So I'll be looking for some commitments from individuals so we can kind of maybe put together two teams to make that happen. And I want to applaud Reverend Kaufman for the Round Lake area uh, for a comment that he made that we need to keep in mind when we volunteer for some of these things. There were some groups that canceled, and I understand it's challenging, I understand people travel, but there's people that canceled at the last minute due to the weather, and there are people that were very local organizations. And I thought Reverend Kaufman stated it very well when he said, I'm pretty sure the people we're honoring today served in the rain and worse. The least we could do is honor them in the rain. And I agree with that statement. 
Um, also, very important note, uh, again, more exciting changes in the village. Effective next month, June, we are changing our board meeting time. We'll be starting a half hour earlier, 6.30 p.m. And that is due to the fact that we will actually have two meetings that take place the second and fourth Tuesday of each month. We will open with our regular board meeting and then close and then go into our committee of the whole format. So the standing committees are no more. Committee work will exist among the whole board, which is where the phrase committee of the whole comes from. We still have liaisons or project leaders, if you will, so you understand that they're still leading a specific area or topic, whether it be finance, <clears throat> public works, open spaces, etc., and they will lead that portion of the committee of the whole. But I think this is going to be uh, a more informative and progressive way uh, for us to do our committee work. So we look forward to the change. Uh, we're getting that posted on our website. Uh, we will also be doing a press release on this as well. So we'll try to get the word out. I think I'll even do a CTY call um, shortly before our June 9th board meeting to make people as aware as possible. Uh, and hopefully we'll get some more takers at our board meetings. And then I think my final note for tonight is if you've checked your mailboxes today, I believe everyone got an invite June 15th, that is a Monday, at 6 p.m., we will have a groundbreaking ceremony at the Round Lake High School because they will be starting a very much needed expansion of the high school. It's very exciting, so I hope all of you can attend. Put it on your calendar. I know I plan on being there. Uh, at this time, I'm going to ask if there's any other announcements from any of the committees or project leaders? Yes. Yes. Okay. Maybe. Georgia first. You're one tonight, I guess. So. <laughs> and then George, and then Jerry. Okay. In addition to the um, planting and seeding in the easements behind the homes along Tall Oak that uh, back up to the Cranberry Lake Woodlands, the area along Deer Point and 120 has been an eyesore for a long time because the herbicide uh, took so long to dissipate. And now we're going to be doing some planting of trees and shrubs in, in the very near future. So look for the, a new look there. Okay, thank you. George? Thank you, Mayor. Um, I have four items that I'd like to address. I'll try to be as brief as possible. The first is uh, concerning the uh, Capital Improvement Fund, or so we call it, uh, for the water system re replacement. And uh, I'm picking up where Wally did uh, a fine job in starting is by getting a comparison of the water rates in each of the surrounding communities compared to what we do. Um, and doing some research on this, it really turns out that we've got maybe four areas that we need to address for funding in the, of the water system. One is operation and maintenance. The second is repair. The third is replacement. And the fourth is capital improvement. And so what we were originally looking at calling capital improvement is really the replacement of existing components of the water system when they end their useful life. So capital improvement is really something separate, uh, adding a new facility, if you will, or a new component that doesn't previously exist or currently exist, such as uh, the well house or where the public works building is. So what, what I've done is set up 
what I'd like to call a slideshow that will be presented at the committee of the whole, so that the whole committee or the whole board can can look at it and discuss it and figure out what's what's being done or what should be done. And I've got I don't know about 20 or so slides on this thing, and I've said uh, and what I've done on it so far is just highlight what should go in each of the slides, and I've got a copy to, to you and also to the finance, to Jerry, and also to uh, to the public works superintendent and to finance, uh, to Kelly, and wanted to do two things. Uh, one, to get an idea of whether they thought what information I was looking at was appropriate or if they had any other suggestions. And then I also sent a message to Terry Brown, our uh, contractor in charge of the water system, to number one, look at the um, slideshow, if you will, and, and give any comments on that. And secondarily, and that's that will not uh, cause us any cost involved, but where there will be a cost will be for about five or six of the slides, they're going to have to provide some information, and that's going to be, uh, excuse me, have some costs, and I've given you a copy in your email of the response I finally got from Terry uh, today. Uh, my goal was uh, to try and, and have this thing ready for the committee of the whole meeting, uh, the last uh, meeting that we have in. June, but I also recognize gathering some of the information, and I know people that have got a lot of other things to do besides just answering my words. So it may be July before I get all the information and do the massaging of the statistics so that the board can then, uh, in the committee of the whole, discuss it in an intelligent manner. So that's item number one. Uh, item number two was I went with. Uh, Jeff and Dave Calder from Native Restoration, and we walked the, the uh, Cranberry Lake path to determine, number one, where we needed to fix some of the drainage problems, number two, uh, doing the her where we needed a herbicide and trim, and then three, then once those things are done, uh, to put down the, 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 the uh, mulch. No, the mulch. You know, the, the, the witches. The witches, thank you. Uh, uh, so obviously those, the, the, the drainage issue, and because it's very muddy out there, uh, and the, uh, the encroachment of the, the foliage has to be addressed before we really put down the, the uh, wood chips. So Jeff thought he might be doing that this week. I actually have a report from Jeff, oh, which I'm going to read in a minute. Oh, so okay. When, you're, when you and Jerry are done. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh yeah. Now, the other thing, uh, I, I don't remember the date off the top of my head, but sometime in June, uh, Jerry and I and, and Jeff will walk throughout the water system to just get an idea of what the components are and how it works, how they all fit together. So we're going to be doing that in, in June. <coughs> And then uh, the final thing under public works, uh, the bench that we put out there for people's use uh, got damaged. And when they finally replaced it, they put the bench in a place where if you sit on it, you can't see anything. So when we walked around the path with Jeff and, and uh, Dave Coulter, we decided to move it. And so Georgia and I walked the path yesterday after the parade uh, and found what I think will be a more appropriate spot which we marked with flags and uh, paint, if you will. Okay. And uh, now I have to get together with Jeff to, to deal with, with that issue. Uh, since uh, Dean isn't here. Uh, my secondary area of responsibility is uh, public works. Just may, hmm? Public safety. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. 
primaries. Do you guys want to sit closer? Yeah, right. <laughs> Because I know we have not always good experience with those. There's times we do like to use them, but one of the problems we've had, especially on the residential streets, is the kids like to play with them and try to see if they can drive their bike or their scooter no, fast no. enough to make the speed on the... <laughs> I got up to 13 miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but one of the things I was going to suggest or mention, I don't know whether it's feasible or the cost would be too much, is I've seen in some communities where they actually have a permanent thing there rather than a, a temporary thing that you're moving. Well, I don't think we want to, but uh, let's talk about that for a committee of the whole meeting oh, okay. when we start the Just agenda. something I noticed. I yeah, but I think that's really a committee of the whole topic if we want to go into that much detail. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, just yeah. Bring it yeah. but I think, uh, Chief, you have any other comments at this yeah. time? Um, actually, we, given that the uh, weather is finally broken, we've taken those speed trailers that you speak of, uh, out of the mothballs, let's say, <laughs> and uh, charged them up to say it's weekend. Um, so they're ready to go, and we did buy uh, actually a new sign where we can put it over an existing signpost, um, and that will display speed, um, very lightweight um, and very effective. We found um, so, and we can put some. I don't want to say personalized, but we can put some special messages uh, on the board also, um, and the board does have the ability to take pictures. And it does awesome. have the ability, yeah. Um, not that we can use that to stay that little way, but uh, certainly uh, we can use it to follow up um, if we have somebody at least doing you get excessive, a play right? yeah. excessive yeah. speed. Yeah. We will be able to talk to somebody. Um, that, uh, along with our the program that we were talking about last year, um, remember we, were, we had sort of a conversation about this towards the end of the summertime last year about how to reduce speed in the neighborhoods and things. Um, and then we can probably talk about at a committee level, but um, you know, I think we put all these ideas together, they're, they're very effective. And um, this new sign that we have is, is nice because we're not putting a trailer on anybody's parkway or water or anything. It uh, doesn't obstruct anything. It's very, it's an actual small sign, but it's, you can see the, the blow from it for, you know, if you're doing 25, 30, 40 miles an hour in there, you're gonna go that way. Does it have all those bike strips? Excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I don't know whether it would be better or worse, but at, at least it doesn't have to go on a tree or anything like that. It goes on an existing pole, so we're not obstructing anybody's view. We're not putting a you know a giant cart on somebody's lawn or anything like that. I know that's been sort of a problem in the past. And it does you know the trailers are somewhat cumbersome sometimes. The last trailer we got was a lot smaller, but this sign is is even more effective and, and way easier um, to move it. Like we can move it every day, every two or three days. It's not labor intensive. So um, I think uh, we'll find some good uses for it out here. Solar powered and it also has a camera in it so it can record the image? Uh, I don't, we haven't actually played with the camera. We just got this thing like oh. a week ago. We programmed it in Jeff's office to say parade says parade Monday, you know, nine o'clock at 10 30. So we got that much out of it. It does give us speed. We haven't used the uh, photographic part of it yet, so I'm not that would, that would be nice for, I think, some of the habitually bad stop sign violations that we have. 
Uh, yeah, you know, I'm not sure how they would work over a stop sign because we'll have to, we can't well, put it. The speed would have to trigger it at a certain threshold. Right, and I'm not sure we can set it that low. No, okay. Just I'm not 100%, but just uh, a random to check it is, you know, for the 15 or 16 years I've lived here, the white lady big horn has just been. Right, and we've stayed out there a lot. I know we do. If we can, if we can set it to one or two miles an hour, that would be perfect for us. But I don't know if we could set it that low. I think um, we have set. I know you guys run a lot of traffic details out there. Right yeah. Now. The he joke was. The joke he was. Don't use the speed cameras. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we don't go there. Don't go there. No, 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 no. I don't want to go there. Yeah, no, we're not talking about mailing anybody who's taking turns. I will have strictly for follow. He's talking about follow. Yeah, strictly for follow. Yeah. Because I think when we get that uh, up close and personal. Message people get it a little bit yep. better. Yes, uh, absolutely. So there's nothing like please carry your driveway to make it, you know, think it's like Yeah, that's <laughs> even worse, but you know, it's not how we follow up on it. But I, I mean, we would follow up with it personally if we could. And um, that, that kind of special, I think it's the kind of follow up that discourages people and really makes them think about what they're doing, especially when they're in their own neighborhood, because most of the speed is neighborhood drivers. So, but the stop sign is a different story, and you know, we sit on that as much as we can, obviously. But uh, as I know you've seen me when you're back now, <laughs> I didn't go in force there. <laughs> I'm not being ready to take it either. So, but um, you know, we like to. I prefer to warn, uh, especially for first-time offenders. And um, there's something, uh, like I say, that, that makes people think twice when they get a personal warning, not something in the mail or you know, a piece of paper that they can crumple up, but they get an actual personal talking to um, carries a little weight with it. So that's what we're going to try to do. Hopefully we'll be successful, but you'll be seeing that you're not very Well, I do know that your recent warnings, and we thank you, are making an impact. Uh, warnings have gone out to those who are not maintaining their lawns properly and garbage can issues. So I did get a few phone calls, but I know that they're making impact and overall it's a good thing. Right. And, you know, if anybody, if you guys know of places, just go ahead and forward those emails to me or whatever. We'll, we'll go on and handle one by one. It's no problem. Okay. Uh, well, it's only been a month, so that's all I have. <laughs> <laughs> well, and we're at, at mainly announcements right now. We'll be doing committee of the whole format, yeah, next month, so June 9th. Thank you for another month to come up with more. <laughs> well, a couple weeks. It's closer than you think. Jerry, if you want to uh, uh, Mike, Mike. No, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> a couple things. As Linda did, I do want to congratulate and say thank you to the staff for their efforts on the transition. Almost to a person, they spent hours beyond the regular day to keep their regular work done, caught up. And plus, going through the training during the day, they were very supportive of each other. It, it was just a tremendous working environment for the two weeks that we worked very closely together. There was another transition going on in the process, too. We were switching our payroll, and it's more from Boyd than anybody else, from in house to a company called ADP. And although we fulfilled, we, Kelly and Kathy, fulfilled their request for providing material and set out for it. The company has fallen down, and we've gone through two or three individuals. Uh, Linda had spoke with uh, somebody at the company to let them know how unhappy we were. Kelly spent probably a good part of today on the phone with them, and there will probably be a few more gray hairs when she comes in tomorrow. Uh, but she's got it generally resolved, and she hopes that we will be able to run the payroll tomorrow. I want to, I've thanked everybody, but Kelly has been here in the last two weeks, many nights till seven or eight o'clock uh, with the new software. And part of that is because she was working directly with the trainer doing preparatory setup within the software so the further training could go on. Uh, Basically it, IT work, it, IT work. Really. It, it was behind the scenes stuff that was absolutely necessary. Uh, she did it as well as the other folks without complaining. It was successful. We had a great trainer. The software is good. I was here for the entire time. And I've already begun to play with things that we can uh, you know, use in a different way for our village. But thank you to the staff for a job well done. Okay. Thank you. 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 Th
Here, here. Can I piggy there? Yes, use your mic. Just to <laughs> let everybody know, um, business license um, application, we purchased it, but we did not complete the training with it. Due to, we have to make some changes on our end with business license fees, and then once we get that finished, then we will be able to do the training either over the phone or they'll send somebody out, and then we'll get the business license going. But and it's that's, that's a about it's about a half day training. Yeah, and, and it's not the, a big deal. Yeah, the I the mean, impact of that business license we're just completing for this year. Right. So we have time. Fortunately, yeah. Kathy recognize that and back off and concentrate in some other areas. Yeah. Just another fine example, and I do not say this from the chief of teamwork. We all did good. Yeah, we did. Thank you. All right, thank you, Jerry. And before we move on to business, um, uh, our Public Works Superintendent, Jeff Gately, had some serious uh, personal car issues, which he's trying to get wrapped up tonight so that uh, no interference with his regular work schedule. Um, but he did give me some updates. I have some exciting news. He received word today that streetlights have a ship date of May 28th. That's two days from now. We should have them in hand early next week. And our electrician has been given a heads up, so installation will immediately follow. Another exciting announcement, our new fountains have been received and are in Clark's possession. Uh, the electrician was out today to start the control box wiring. Uh, however, the, wire, uh, the weather did act up and hampered uh, some of the progress, so they're expected to return in the next day or two, weather permitting. And there, uh, also, Jeff wanted me to let you know we're hoping uh, that the crew can start installing the drainage pipes uh, around the path uh, tomorrow. Okay. Um, that what, what they're trying to be sensitive to, if it's too wet, taking equipment back there will do more damage than good. And the same thing is true as far as the pipe that needs to be adjusted in Haynesville Meadow. So that's all on the priority. That's great. Right. Okay. Um, also, uh, the Emerald Ash Borer removal list for the season was completed today. So the letter will be sent out to the residents uh, tomorrow, and tree removal is to begin the first week in June. And Trustee Ein um, also asked me to just announce uh, we've been contacted about doing a blood drive in our village. So she's spearheading that and we'll have uh, <coughs> some updates by the next meeting. She's also reached out to the uh, Round Lake Area Fire District uh, about getting a plan done. Uh, we have no plan on paper for this building or the building next door as far as what we would really do in case of fire or tornado. We think we know, but we really don't know. So she is working on that as well. So we'll have more information on that at the next meeting. So let's move on to business. Item one was tabled. Item two is a motion to accept the village zoning map update from the April 28th, 2015. Zoning Map Amendment Ordinance 15-4-204. Second. Roll call. Sorry. It's okay. Trustees Deranoski. Aye. Georgia Duberstein. Aye. Barrett. Aye. Daly. Aye. And George Duberstein. Aye. Motion carried. Okay. Item three. I would like to make a motion regarding employee raises as follows. In, uh, list employees, their current, their raised, and then their recommended. All of you should have this sheet. Well, we have to list now. We can vote according to the memo. You don't have to do it specifically. I thought you wanted to do two separate? Yes, but you can say as recommended for the staff right. and then for seasonal. In that case, I would like to make a motion 
based on the memo that was issued by the Finance Committee on May 20th for the in-house employees of Kelly, Kathy, Mosean, and Jeff uh, to receive their raises as, as proposed. Oh, okay. Second. Any discussion? What is the, the plus 1.5 percent? Their current uh, that the dollar amount is their current. Okay. So plus 1.5 percent. All right. Back. I thought that would be right. like a stipend or something else attached to it besides that. Okay. That's fine. I'll, I'll do the bonus. Okay. Any further discussion? Roll call. Trustees Darnowski. Aye. George Ann Duberstein. Aye. Barrett. Aye. Bailey. Aye. And George Duberstein. Aye. Motion carried. I would like to make a motion based on the May 20th memo that Tyler, Jacob, Allison, Brandon, and Andrew receive the raises as recommended. Second. Any discussion? Roll call. Trustees Darinowski. Aye. George Ann Duberstein. Aye. Barrett. Abstain. Daly. Aye. And George Duberstein. Aye. And finally, I'd like to make a motion that, uh, based on the Finance Committee memo of the 20th that the Kelly, Kathy, Roseanne, and Don receive $500 bonus in the first paycheck of August for their work on the financial software conversion. Second. Is there anything, Jeff? Yeah. Thank you. Any discussions? Roll call. Trustees Darinowski. Aye. George Ann Duberstein. Barrett. Aye. Daly. Aye. And George Duberstein. Aye. Motion carried. I'm going to like to make a recommendation that I get a raise. No seconds. Motion to adjourn. Aye. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Meeting adjourned at 747. Jerry, it won't be until next term, even if you get one now. I know. <laughs>